Hi, welcome once again to our uh, daily scripture reflection, fellow parishioners and friends of St. Anne and St. Joseph here in Kitchener. Um, today we have a, an interesting passage from the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus talking about the little children, how things are hidden from the wise and the intelligent. And uh, I, I guess probably because we're sort of midway in our summer season, my, my mind is kind of in many different directions, I have a lot of different uh, feelings, because summer is a family time, pandemic or not, it's a family time. And, and it was for me last week, by the way, my, my brother Mike and his, uh, his wife, my sister-in-law Viola, were here visiting me for a few days uh, on their way back east. And of course, they were going back east to see their, uh, their grandchildren. And it was uh, interesting to see how uh, how excited and how anxious they were to see the grandchildren in particular, more so than their own children, of course, and you who are grandparents can identify with that. But that reminds me of the, of the gospel today that speaks of, of infants, of enjoying the simple things of life, of just being present to the world around us. And honestly, perhaps like, uh, like many of you, I come to this day with a bit of weariness, uh, a need for some rejuvenation. The pandemic has taken its toll on many of us in so many different ways, small ways perhaps, but still. And today's passage was like a, a reminder to hand over my weariness and my burdens to Jesus the Christ. Okay, so we have Matthew verse 25 where Jesus says, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent, and you have revealed them to infants. The words that come to my mind would be uh, openness, vulnerability, humbled, okay, revealing our true childlike selves. And it's a reminder that, that during my prayer, uh, I need to come humbly with, uh, with an open, authentic heart to express, first of all, my, my gratitude, my thankfulness, and lay down my burdens to let God's love heal what needs to be healed in me and to recognize, recognize rather how my false self often shadows, overshadows God's message to me, God's message of love. That's one little point. And then the very next verse, he says, Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. God has the sovereignty over all, and he's given that authority to Christ. Christ can and does execute the divine will, okay? So I, I need to pray for a deeper understanding of this and to trust providence, we call it, even more, okay? And finally, verse 27, um, all things, Jesus says, have been handed over to be by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, those to whom he wishes to reveal him. It's unfortunate, but also often our intelligence, our experience gets in the way of what truly is in our hearts. And I pray to be attentive in these days to what is really in my heart, to be aware of the the movement of the Spirit, the sterny, stirrings of God in my heart. And then to answer that simple question, are those stirrings moving me towards God or away from God? I need to seek, seek more understanding and ask that His will be revealed to me, if that's what it is to be, always according to God's will. That's being childlike. Thanks and have a good day. God bless.